The historic Cranston Street Armory will now officially be the new set for an upcoming movie. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us in studio with what we know about the film. Alex? Well, Sarah, Kayla, this morning the State Properties Committee unanimously approved a deal to allow 20th Century Studio to rent the Cranston Street Armory for its next movie. Now that deal is set to start later this year, but because of the ongoing actor strike, when filming will start is still up in the air. With windows boarded up and the front gate locked, the Cranston Street Armory is currently abandoned, which is why people in the neighborhood are excited to hear it's getting a new life as a movie set. I think it's really cool. I think it's, it's nice to see this space finally get some use. It's just been sitting here abandoned for so long. To see it used as a movie set, I think that's pretty exciting. From December through May, 20th Century Studios will pay $10,000 a month, plus utilities, to use the historic building for its new romantic drama called Ella McKay. However, if the actor strike is still ongoing at that time, the studio will pay less to rent out the building as it tries to work out details for the film. They were negotiating with the talent before the strike and then the strike happened so that certain deals have not been completed yet. So I can't give any more details. Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office, Stephen Feinberg, says big names are expected to be a part of the film. That includes Academy Award winning director and producer James L. Brooks. Who did Terms of Endearment, as good as it gets, broadcast news. He executive produces The Simpsons. He did the Mary Tyler Moore show and Taxi. And he is 83 years old and spry. Though the cast has not been revealed yet, community members say they'll be keeping a close eye. We're definitely going to be down here trying to do some people spotting. <laughs> Look out for celebrities. And that film will be entirely shot here in Rhode Island. Coming up at 5, I take a closer look at the economic impact this film is expected to have here in the state. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.